You gotta be super fly, right? Everybody was kung fu fighting. I can see some stuff going down in this fight. Cannot wait. Uh, this is uh, Impact MMA in Salisbury. There we go, Nathan Rich entering the cage. Looks relaxed and loose. He steps into the red corner. And his opponent into the blue corner. Darren Edwards. Darren Edwards getting 78% of the online vote thought he was going to win. So we'll see if he can live up to his uh, fans' expectations. Nasty takedowns under punches and kicks and try to go high and go low. But Darren Edwards is the heavy favorite right now and let's see if he can live up to that name. Certainly comes in looking very, very focused. And it's, uh, it's nice that we're here with Ballerina back in Leicester. Always a great crowd turns out at Club Republic to watch these guys throw down. Really, like, Leicester's quite a fight town. Like, Leicester kickboxing has been along ar around a long time. You've got Leicester shoot fighters with the more modern uh, MMA approach. And you've got Gannon's MMA that we saw represented earlier. Like, really, Leicester's embraced uh, mixed martial arts in the sport. And the, you can tell from the crowd as well. They're really getting into it. They're really cheering. And they're really understanding the technical details of the fights as well. Yeah, there's some, some really excellent fans here in Leicester. Always so well behaved. And here we have a much stockier and more muscular Darren Edwards in our blue corner here. This is an A-class fight under a catch weight of 74 kilograms. Introducing first the fighter in the red corner, weighing 74.4 kilograms, fighting out of Impact MMA, Nathan Rich. Nathan with a much bigger reach, much bigger, longer frame. And his opponent, the fighter in the blue corner, weighing 73.2 kilograms, fighting out of Superfly MMA, Darren Edwards. The referee for this bout is Mr. Paul Nichols. He's got the beard to match. I, I always think the beard hides the chin. It must be harder to hit. Nathan Rich trying to keep him off with that jab immediately. Goes for a right cross and Darren Rich. Darren Edwards is underneath him already looking for a takedown. But Nathan almost set up that uh, arm control before he got taken down. The fact that he almost looked like maybe he accepted the takedown because he wanted to try and work his submission game. And you see, uh, we can see Darren Edwards trying to push past his guard. And really just taking him back to his corner now. This is uh, really training like a strong man's game, closing the distance. Yeah, we're seeing, we're seeing a cool. tactic earlier on similar to this. Bring him in. Now he's starting to rain down some left hands there. He Ooh, steps passes. over looking for an arm bar, maybe a Kimura, but that ends up with Nathan Rich on top looking for a double leg of his own. He's got that ankle deep. Calls for Nathan to stand up. I think he's uh, got a single leg there. It's not he's always that easy, but he's managed to do it. I see Nathan. I think Nathan wants to get back to the striking maybe. Possibly, but that overhand right was not working. And, uh, ooh, big knees being landed by uh, Darren Edwards there. Really throwing his weight behind those shots and uh, really underrated when you can cut those in. And you know, he's looking for a bit of a head and arm hip toss. He's able to really muscle. Slammed uh, Nathan's head into the mat there. Not look very comfortable at all. This is one of those. This is one of those muscular gentlemen that you you would want to be weathering the first round with, keeping him off, making him work there on top of you, make him work as much as as much as you want, but be controlled and, Nathan, and be able to get out of this position. Nathan really does look very calm. He's got this big guy really trying to take some punishment out of him. And Nathan looks like he's kind of weathering the storm, and he's he, doing a really good job of keeping getting his right leg through. He had to be expecting this at least in the first round, that Darren would be all over him. Trying to look for ground and pound, looking for the early finish. And Darren, a uh, really good job there of passing. He was, uh, was caught in a butterfly guard and he managed to slide over it. And now, his big, strong side control. He's really braced his legs out wide there, really controlling. I don't know if it's hard to see from our angle, but I think he's trying to set up a submission on the. He's got the knee across and he's looking for a step over arm bar there from Ooh, side control, but he's not getting He's getting work. caught up in it. And he's looking to wrench it over so he can gain, gain back, on, back top position and possibly slide over for a mount. Nathan's so calm and controlled, so collected. He's just looking to improve position in the bottom, but he's been really struggling this round. And uh, his arm is isolated under that leg, so his other arm is free to be attacked. And he's got to be super careful here. 
I think Darren Edwards was looking for a finish, but oh, he's just got Mount instead. But he could be looking to ground and pound and finish this fight in the first round. Nathan holding on to the waist of Darren Richards. Darren's Darren Edwards, and he's 10 seconds left, so it's all on Nathan. It won't be this t this round for the finish. We'll see how they come back at it in the second round. That was a dominant performance from uh, Nate, uh, from Darren Edwards from Superfly MMA. Very, very impressive. He's very strong. He's uh, not just strong. We've seen a lot of strong fighters on this card, but he was showing some really good technique there. The takedown was very slick. The passing the butterfly guard was very slick. We've seen a great top pressure. He's constantly looking for submissions, and then when he doesn't get it, he mixes it up with the ground and pound. Really impressed by that first round. Yeah, I was, I was impressed with that. I see, I see what he's trying to do there from side control and step over and look for that armbar, but he's really got to gotta keep it keep it tight in order to make that work. What I'm not terribly impressed with is obviously with the strength difference between Darren Edwards and Nathan Richards. Nathan Rich, pardon me, um, Darren's not capitalizing enough. You really thought that he'd be able to get into a more finishable position there, but he really couldn't. And it might just be Nathan Rich's composure there on the bottom, his relaxation. I think that's really that's really playing into a factor. But as we see, Nathan Rich has wasted a wasted a severe amount of energy there in that first round, trying to keep it keep it competitive. But Let's see what he can do in the second round. Both fighters are coming out looking fresh. You wouldn't say one looks more tired than the other. Darren is coming out looking aggressive again. Nathan, beautiful jab, keep that distance. That's what we need to do: is jab go. and Stepping move, jab and move. Angle. Step off on the angle. He's looking for the. I want to see Nathan jab and move. Oh, great shot by Nathan. I think Darren was on Wobbly Street just a little bit there. Just for a moment, though, and now he's back, rocked around the bottom. And he looks for a big double. And he lands it. Huge takedown there from uh, Darren Edwards. Very impressive. And uh, I think he, it, it was, uh, he was in trouble there. Nathan landed some big shots. He was using his jab, moving well, keeping range. And now Darren Edwards is back to his dominant pressure on the floor he's got neon belly there never a comfortable position and he's ground and pounding off it yeah this is where I want to see see Darren Edwards really apply some some good martial arts technique I want to see him either slip into mount and start raining him down or set up an Americana or maybe even a Kimura there from side control if that's what he's looking for in the submission game I think maybe we have a disparity of skill on the feet uh, Nathan Rich looked very dominant then, but as soon as it hits the floor, Darren Ed look, Edwards looks very dominant. Yeah, but it's only only moments are being being passed on the feet, whereas the entire round is being passed on the ground. With Darren on top, looking to make some serious damage happen. Oh, he's giving up his back, just trying to escape. One hook in for Darren Rich, Darren Edwards, pardon me. What Nathan needs to do is try and get his back to the mat, or maybe turn over like that and. Uh, and let uh, Darren Edwards slip off the top. Maybe that's what he's hoping for. But he's got that deep hook and hooked on his Serious leg. Serious left hands there. This is some uh, very impressive grappling from uh, Darren Edwards. Not just got the back, but hooked, uh, hooked his foot on his thigh so that he couldn't... Kind of a modified body triangle. Landing some big shots to the side of the head. He's been careful not to hit the back of the head, which would be illegal. But he's very high up. Uh, I think Nathan's got a shot of uh, rolling him over the top. Or getting out the back, but he's letting himself be flattened out. What he needs to do is try and get his hips high. And Darren's got some good opportunities here. Oh, big shot power. landed. I'd like to see Nathan stand up here. I think he's in a good position to get between his feet. I don't. Oh, he's trying to turn the tables now. Is Nathan Rich taking his legs out from under Darren and possibly get in top position there and maybe see what he can do from that position? But Darren is keen to stand up. Oh, he's got to watch out for that guillotine. I think Nathan's aware of it though. He's in that ankle. This is a sometimes this strength difference doesn't last when we get into the second or third rounds. Darren Edwards is looking very fit, but once we start getting tired, those muscles suddenly they can uh, wear you out a little bit. Yeah, they're just more weight to lift around, more to throw at your opponent. I think that's some big shots. Nathan really wants to separate and uh, see if he can throw some jabs, get some things going. Oh, big shots to finish the round. But then again, Nathan Rich threw only one strike and had Darren reeling from it and backing away. He's got to do the same thing. He's got to jab and move, jab and move. This is a slightly smaller case than you might see on uh, like the UFC. And it, it does make it difficult if, you're, if you've got the style of uh, Nathan Rich where you like to jab and keep distance and pick your shots and use your footwork because it's very easy to cut you off and end up with your back against the cage. Um, Maybe he should have been a bit more 
controlled of rushing in to try and finish uh, Darren Edwards, but that's what happens when you catch people. You've got to you've got to close the distance. He's got to be just flying in, trying to repeat the first two rounds, get a takedown. They're always picking that jab again. That footwork is moving side to side, moving around, moving away from. Uh, he's got to move Darren and not Edwards get too power. excited. He's getting too excited there, and he's allowing Darren Edwards the entrance. Nathan needs to try and separate, get back to that jab, but back to those long shots. But Darren Edwards has got some power in those takedowns on those legs. He's driving into him. I'm not seeing great takedown defense from Nathan Rich here. Not cross-facing, not hipping back, not sprawling or swiveling. He gets taken down again. Three rounds. And all the takedowns are pretty much Darren Edwards. Darren Edwards working for the knee cut pass, he does. Nathan Richards using his left shin to try to keep the distance there in the half guard. Probably prevent some more damage from Dean Dunn. I've been so impressed by the grappling of Darren Edwards. He's always looking for submissions, very slick passing, really good top control. I think he was even looking for a footlock briefly there and and uh, such great pressure and you know sometimes the big guys they can muscle stuff so they, they don't always develop the best technique, but we've seen some power, some muscle and some incredibly proficient technique from Darren Edwards. And now he's trying to pass that half guard and get on top again. I just want to see Darren Edwards pass the test with the finish here in the third round. Can he use all this dominance to finish it? Well, well I think beautiful. he's setting up an arm triangle. This could be very close. It's looking like it could be close. <laughs> so he's trying to squeeze his head and arm together. Again, the cage is not really working for him there, but can he? But he's got such right strong arms. I think he might be able to finish it in the mount position, or he wouldn't have to get so deep on side control to finish it. Oh, but I think Nathan managed to slip his arm out there. What happens in the third round? You get sweaty, and your arm will just slip out of those holds. But Darren's winning this round like he did the, the previous two, and Nathan hasn't had success when it's been stood up, but he hasn't been able to keep the fight there. He's got that high underhook though in the in the half guard. He needs to post up on that elbow and try to walk to Darren's back. But Darren doing a great job just of, of circling around and ending up in side control again. Nathan desperately trying to get back to his feet. He needs to sit through from here. It's good. Oh, he's going to turn the tables. Oh, excellent, excellent single. He had to get on top though there. We've got a mile of heart from Nathan. Been fighting from the bottom every round and he's still desperately trying to turn this fight around and see if he can get a win. But what he needs to do is try and separate but it's hard his, his strong arms are keeping hold of him Good. He's desperately trying to finish that single he's dropped down to kind of an ankle pick that's probably terrible wrestling terminology oh, it is yeah it's definitely a low single there low single that's what I meant I wanted to see I wanted to see a bit more of chest pressure there from Nathan when he was trying to finish there but he just doesn't seem to have it in him right now to finish this takedown he's a I'm impressed that he's finished the round so strong he's a great cardio yeah, what a show of heart there from Nathan Rich. He was a bit outclassed there, I think, in the in the physical styles and the athleticism. But did he ever work hard? I'd like to see uh, Nathan Rich fight again. I would love to have seen more of a stand-up. The little bit we got to see looked really proficient. Great straight shots, always back to the chin. He was circling to the correct side all the time. Really, really good. It's a shame we didn't get to see more of it. So, after three great rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecard. And your winner, by unanimous decision, from the blue corner, Alan Israel! And please make sure you are a star, Nathan Rich. Alan, come out of Well done, man. Good night. Is that it? We got it. Alright, this is Lewis, Darren, Edwards.